Welcome to the WHHI Daily News. I'm Robin Zimmerman. Let's begin with our headlines. A Ukrainian teenager who spent the COVID years with her aunt in Bluffton going to Bluffton schools is now trying to get back here from war-torn Ukraine. Masha Kosheveni Kova went back to Ukraine in December to visit her grandmother and was hoping to come back last month. She's made it out of the country through Poland and is currently with family in Germany. And her aunt, who moved from Ukraine to Bluffton in 1998, is hoping to go get her and bring her back to Bluffton next week. Buford County State Senator Tom Davis, primary reason for pushing medical marijuana all these years is to get treatment to those who have chronic conditions like epilepsy and can't get relief anywhere else. And some of those people are the ones testifying this week as the State House of Representatives debate Davis's bill that has already passed the Senate. Another hearing is scheduled for Thursday in front of a House committee. 37 other states have medical marijuana laws. Opponents of the bill say it's a slippery slope to legalizing recreational marijuana in South Carolina. Buford deputies have arrested 28-year-old Jonathan Robinson of Dale on charges of armed robbery and possession of a weapon in commission of a violent crime. He allegedly was going to buy a video game console being sold on Facebook, but changed the location of the transfer at the last minute and then held up the seller at gunpoint. Fortunately, nobody was hurt in the incident. And police say that last minute switch in location in one of these kinds of sales is usually a tip off that something could go wrong and if you're making a Facebook sale, do it in a very public place and bring a friend. We've known this for a long time, but now the world is finding out about Defusky Island and Buford, both named to travel and leisure magazines, eight charming small towns in South Carolina's list. Buford's history and coastal beauty were honored while Defusky was written up for its wildlife and as the ultimate escape when you really wanna get away. The other six towns on the list were Sullivan's Island, Traveler's Rest, Georgetown, Edisto Beach, Kiowa Island, and yes, Newberry, South Carolina. There was only one death from COVID-19 in Beaufort County last week and hospitalizations are down, way down nationwide. But the virus is still out there and older people are the most susceptible. So Medicare is now covering up to eight free at-home tests per month at no cost to those enrolled in Medicare. And the government says you should call your pharmacy or healthcare provider because the program is voluntary. And finally, Marine Corps Air Station Buford does have its own medical clinic, but it's outdated. So construction of a new state-of-the-art clinic has been proposed on 26 acres just south of the main gate at the base to care for its 5,000 personnel. Now, a rough estimate on the cost is $150 million and construction isn't expected to start until 2027. By then, nearly 12,000 people will be eligible for care at the clinic with a staff of nearly 400. Check out the media sources on your screen for more information on these stories and many, many more. So now let's go to Maria Soden with an update on the weather. Thanks, Robin. All right, let's take a look at the weather for Wednesday. So it looks like in all three regions, we're gonna have fog in the morning and a high chance of thunderstorms starting in the morning, going through the afternoon and going into the evening. Hill and Head, we're gonna have a high of 80 and a low of 67. Bluffton's gonna be a high of 82 and a low of 67. And Buford's gonna be a high of 80 and a low of 66. The sunrise for Wednesday is going to be at 7.05, sunset is going to be at 7.46. The beach tides, low tide is going to be at 8.40 a.m. and high tide is going to be at 1.28 p.m. Let's take a look at the next couple of days. Thursday, all three regions are going to have thunder showers in the morning, showers in the afternoon, but then it's supposed to clear up in the evening. Friday, it's going to be sunny all day in all three regions, and Saturday, it's going to be sunny and breezy all day in all three regions as well. That's it for today. Let's hit it back to the desk. Thank you, Maria. Coming up after the break, Debbie Lines will join us and she'll teach us how to mind our health.